Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. So today's uh, video is all about SCCM 2007. I've been working on SCCM 2007 for a minute, for a while actually, and uh, a lot of headaches. I know I have a playlist that deals with only SCCM in my channel, which I'm going to post an annotation as well as the link at the bottom of this video. Uh, but I never covered um, certain topics so in the past couple of days I've been working with this kind of, kind of stuff so I'm gonna record it shoot it out to you guys and then I want you guys to let me know what you think so let's get started the first one is actually having uh, MDT integrated with your configuration manager now for this to work you actually have to have your MDT uh, 2012 installed into your machine and you could basically configure it. Uh, I'm also going to place an annotation for how to install and configure MDT because I do have that in my channel. Uh, so I'm going to post that up as an annotation. You should see it here. Uh, you can click on that as well as I will place the, the link of the video. So you got to have it configured and on the SCCM machine. And to integrate it with your configuration manager is pretty easy. You go to all programs. Go into the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit and configure configure manager integration. Okay. So if everything goes well, everything should be pre-populated with the server name, with you know, and your site code. Okay. Um, hit next, and the process is completed. You know, it's it's that simple, guys. Hit finish, and I'm gonna open up configure uh, my configuration manager console. And I'm gonna double check to see if it's there, and that's about it, guys. It's really short, real simple uh, to do. Uh, I believe you could do it remotely. You can actually have an MDT server separate from your SCCM 2007 server, but best practice just just put it in the machine. Uh, for me, that's what I did for a previous job that I had to do. So I'm gonna right-click here. And if you right click, you see the create MDT task sequence. Before, when you don't integrate, you won't see this. So we're going to click on that, and you get like a bunch of options. These options right here will look very familiar as the MDT side. So hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. Uh, please Twitter, please Facebook it, uh, please share it, please like, please comment. Also, please subscribe. Don't forget about subscribing uh, to get the latest, greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.